Recruiter, zip, zip, recruiter, zip, recruiter, zip, zip, recruiter. If you need somebody for a job, you go to zip recruiter, zip recruiter, zip, zip, recruiter. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good. Hey, guys, man, if I had a business, mm -hmm. any kind of business, and I needed to find employees and people that like fill positions, yep. where would I go? Zip, zip, zip recruiter, recruiter, zip, zip. 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 We rehearsed this, guys. I know. We, we should have. I wrote the song. We rehearsed this. Mm -hmm. I got the wrong. Note. But anyway, tell them about Zip Recruiter Gilbert because I'm a big fan. With, with Zip, I'm Guy Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, yeah with, you go, with, Gil. With zip. You go, Gil. Zip, 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 zip. With Zip Recruiter, you can post your job to over 100 of the web's leading job boards uh -huh. with just one click. Yeah, not two clicks. About one click. One yeah. click. Um. So find out today why Zip Recruiter has been used by growing businesses of all sizes and industries to find the most qualified job candidates with immediate results. Right, like Facebook uses it, but then you could you could have a small like um, pastry shop. From what? from pastry shops shop to, to Facebook, to Facebook. Book, yeah, I mean, you can use ZipRecruiter. There's yeah. no size too small or too big. And right now, our listeners can post jobs on ZipRecruiter for free. That's right, free. Just go to ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. That's ZipRecruiter.com slash belly. One use it, guys, use it, guys. We use it. One more time. How do you think we got Jason? Zip recruiter. Zip recruiter, bro. Zip, zip recruiter. recruiter. Let me tell you about zip recruiter too, man. George Clooney. <laughs> I was at a fucking rave, a rave. in the desert. What rave? Right? What rave was this? Um, Burning Man Two. Oh, okay. yeah. They had a second one. Uh, they had a second one, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. I'm at Burning Man Two. I'm dancing. I have my glow sticks, right? I have my little green bell bottoms on. <laughs> and George Clooney taps me on the shoulder. I yeah. go, what's up, George? He was completely naked. I don't know why. George. Well, it's Burning Man. Yeah, he goes, I have a... I'm, he goes, I'm launching a whiskey company. Oh. Right? It's fine oak. Oak taste. Clooney Oaks. Mm. Yeah, Clooney Oaks, right? Clooney yeah. Oaks. Clooney, Clooney Oaks. Oaks. <laughs> That's a thing. That's what he said, right? And he goes, I need a staff. I go, zip, zip, he recruiter. Needs a I sing staff. the song. I sing the song, and then we took some ecstasy and we fucked each other. But my point is, no, <laughs> you can't put, can't put that. You in can't. There. Oh no, you can put it there. But no, 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 let's not put that in. Okay, I'm, I'm being real though. That happened, and also, um, go to zip, zip recruiter, ziprecruiter.com/belly. One more time to try to get it for, uh, one more time to try it for free. Go to ziprecruiter.com/belly. Do it, cause George Clooney does. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Blast off! <laughs> That's me going through. What is that? Wormhole. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm through. Bobby. Welcome. No, That's enough. Okay. Enough, <laughs> enough, you fucking flat face fuck. Thank you so much. So my bad. Um, <laughs> you fucking Filipino. Fly, 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 fly. A Filipino? A Filipino. Anyway, um, <laughs> hey, everybody. Welcome to the Tiger Belly Podcast. And I'm so excited today because um, we have a guest. But I want to introduce the people in the room before we introduce the guest. We have... Um, I'm so sorry for even saying that. Which one? Calling you flat, flat face. That was rude up front. Oh, that's okay. I should open that way. That's accurate. You're a human. Thank you. You don't look it, but you are. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Okay. We got um, Kalila, my girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. baby. Ka, ka, ka. All day, every day. Mm. Hollywood Nights 2017. Shit. We got Georgetown, USA, AKA. She just fucking carve your skin and make lampshades. Oh, okay. We got yeah. Right here, we got Skin Skin. And then we're now. Skin, just said Skin Skin. Yeah, skin Skin, skin <laughs> right here. No, with his nose, no, skin. no skin. With his nose. <laughs> Poking my fucking brain right now, man. Wait, what? Behind and shit. Yo, dude. What do you mean? His nose poking my shit from behind. Bro, stop like, poking his shit. Kinetically and shit, bro. <laughs> and we got, dude, um, we got Taryn Killam. Give him a round of applause, everybody. Oh, thanks, everybody <laughs> I just met. That's so nice. Thank you. Oh, my oh, God. Thank you. Oh. You know, when Ali Madrigal goes, would you have Taryn Killam on your podcast? I didn't think we could even get. You come on, We're, because we know for each I other. I consider you, yeah. I consider you a bud. Do you not? Is that I, not? not? It's not even a bud, though. You what know what I consider it? you? Yeah. Like you and I went to Nam together. Sure. Yeah. Like I, you know, I mean, like when you don't, don't see somebody from Nam for a while. Uh huh. Right. 
Well, I mean, I've seen, <laughs> seen Miss Saigon, so I think I get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, you, I know you do have ever been to Nam in a war situation. Mm, not my, I have a lot of Canadian friends who vacation there now. Oh, they, they, oh really? Great. Yeah, yeah, they love it? That's what it's become. Are you Canadian? My wife is. Ugh. Oh, God. <laughs> That's so, good. Yeah, oh, no. They're great. Oh, they, no. They're great. <laughs> they are. But you and I'll I, people don't know this. Mm -hmm. And if you do, you don't. But let me tell you. Okay? <laughs> you, you don't. If you unlearn do, you, what you, you have learned. Learn and unlearn. Okay. Is, is that when I, my first show was, at some people, a lot of people know, was Mad TV. And I tested to get on the show with Taryn. It was just yeah, you and I, right? Just us, yeah. Oh. And that they're like, which lot. one would we want, gook or regular white? You know what I mean, or whatever, <laughs> hmm. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm sure that's not what they say said in the how room. How old were you? 19. Damn. Wow, and how old were yeah. you? 30. Whoa. Whoa. Why does which that is, get the bigger reaction? <laughs> yeah. Which is, you know, a, a white 19, you. really. Yeah. A white yeah, 19. Yeah. Very. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In yeah. Asian years, I'm Same like, age, same age. No, we, we hung out because we met, they brought us in for rehearsals too, and we met there. We, we, we went to Hollywood Center Studios yeah. and did that whole like studio yep. session thing. Yep. So it was either you or him then? No. 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 Oh, oh, it was we, not like a. We tested, we, we auditioned. Uh, rehearsed and then tested together. We played video games afterwards. That's right, at the lot. Mm -hmm. it, it, it Fox at the time they had like two or three like upright it, video. You know, the, yeah. we want to be a retro games. Yeah, yeah. Oh. yeah. And we just played in the lobby after oh after my, testing. I know. And then saw Nicole in the parking lot. Yeah. I feel like she was like, "You guys both did great. Don't oh worry about it." And then I got called that day. I did too. Yeah. So, but I, I didn't see you again until Virgin Mega Store. Do you remember that? No. I ran into you, but like. A week, maybe two later, at Virgin Mega Store at Crescent Heights and Sunset, and I didn't know if you got it, and I was like, "Hey, <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? yeah." Oh, you didn't even. All right, and you, you're you and know. you're like, and I was like, "Hey, um, so I, I got it." And you're like, yeah, 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 me too. Oh, wow. And and I was like, "Oh," and then the first thing you said is, "Have you used it to get laid yet?" And I said, no, no. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think I probably, my voice cracked. This is went, before. No, have you? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, 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 three touches. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> is that what I do? That's, oh, my God. Some people do impressions yeah, 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 of me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God. That is I hate perfect. It. I hate it. Perfect. <laughs> it's so perfect, this guy. Wow. Yeah, wow. Oh my god, you almost fucking killed me just now, but bro. <laughs> Don't ever do that again. But my <laughs> friend, I'm kidding. No. You're so good. But and then so there was no internet by that back, back then. So you no. couldn't research. Right? You, you couldn't Google, Google like yeah. Karen Killon. News. Mad TV. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And 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 the first thing I read was TV Guide. They like announced it in TV Guide. And it was like, Wait, like a hard copy. Yeah, yeah wow. exactly. Yeah. Like a three quarters rectangle. Did they have internet? I don't remember. They they did, dial but it was up. like, di yeah, exactly. It was dial like, up. <laughs> oh, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well. And the, oh, that's something oh, yeah. came out of there. What's and that? then um, <laughs> Tall you were dating Lacroix? Amanda Bynes at the time. That is true. Yeah. Ah. But this is, yeah. um, you don't talk to her anymore. I ha No, no. Sh uh, we're. Dating a little over two years, and then she wisely broke up with me. Wow. Because we were very young, as you know. Did that, did that destroy you or not? It was, I was very sad. Very sad. Really? Me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. Very, very because sad. Because I remember her. Because she would show up to like. She came and would hang. And, hang out and yeah, stuff. And I'd be sad. like, oh, she's so. In fact, every time I would run into her after that, she yeah. was so sweet. She's just the nicest, nicest loveliest, yeah. charming, And funny, imagine them yeah. at that age. Were you in a couple. Nickelodeon show together? Her show, Amanda yeah. Bond I show. did. It was sort of my yeah. first job out of high school. Was like I did like ended up doing seven episodes of her show. Mm. Wow. Yeah, I remember. Oh, yeah. so good. Yeah, <laughs> so good, bro. It was fun. Thanks, man. It's a Thanks, testament. Dude. I'm standing. For yeah, this. look at this is getting <laughs> serious. Yeah, it's getting serious. It's a testament to your talent that you're able to go from Nickelodeon mm -hmm. and also do two sketch shows. Mm -hmm. The only two really. That was on at the time, really. Mm. You know, mm -hmm. it really is a. It's it's amazing. Thanks, buddy. How do you feel about That's that? Nice. <laughs> Good. Accomplished. You look in the mirror and you go, "I'm the shit," or no? No, I would never do. I would. I would. I look and I go, I'm gonna "You sit down. You've I'm done gonna done sit it. again." Okay, I, I said the wrong. <laughs> it was the wrong answer. No, okay. I gave the wrong answer. No, I wasn't happy with that. Yeah, yeah, I'm the shit, bro. <laughs> I'm the shit. No, 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 um, no. I go. That's that's pretty cool. That's yeah. that's impressive. So we did a year, and it was it wasn't. But we did like a th like thirteen, right? Because we right. get hired for four, 
And then and they and you, me, and Catherine. Catherine got hired a little bit later than What's us. What's her last name? Fiore. Fiore. That's right. And 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 it was like in the first the first thirteen episodes we would overlap. So you and I only did like two episodes yeah. together, and then you do it two with Catherine, and then you do two by yourself. It was so weird. Yeah, it was mm. so weird, and also it was like almost um, like they weren't. You know, you you think that you were you're invited to this family. <laughs> and then you know because there's guys that have been on the show for a very long time mm -hmm. and it doesn't feel warm sure yeah. you know like some people are like no yeah like hi you go good morning they go no yeah no thank you <laughs> and then you go okay for sure and then there's some people aka will sasso oh the best is the best the here's best. a guy who is warm mm -hmm. Canadian. 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 Yeah. Ah. And, and in you know, my opinion, I, I'm sure I'm biased now liking him so but the funniest too. Oh yeah. One hundred percent. The yeah. funniest. One of the funniest, yeah. Yeah. In fact, if, uh, when we was I was there like like a month in, he was like, Just come to my house, there's a barbecue. And yeah. like that kind of thing. Yes. And without that gesture, yeah. I might not have survived. Totally. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I there was there like I can count on one hand the people who went out of their way. Mike Hitchcock was one for me. Oh, he's the best. The best. Yeah. He really looked out for me. Him and I sold the show after Jennifer I got yeah, oh, together. Did you? I oh, love awesome. him. Yeah, yeah. 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 Jennifer Joyce was very kind. One to of me. the best. Jennifer yeah. Joyce. Yeah. yeah. Um, Scott King was one very, of the very, best. Oh, there you go. Okay, I'm yes. saying the best. Everyone's the best. Yeah, yeah. You're saying I'm all saying the, best the best right now. One of the best. I did the yeah. best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, all those guys. Even like yeah. Lauren Dombrowski was mine. Yeah. 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 Same. Same. I loved Lauren. Me too. But uh, so then you did 13, and then that was it. I did 13, and they asked me back, but wanted to ask me back for 17 of 22. They're like trying to renegotiate because you know if you got picked right. up, it was supposed to be the full 22 or whatever. And uh, my reps at the time were like, "You don't need it. Forget them. That's insulting." And I listened to them. Was that regrettable or no? Probably not. At the time, it was tough. Yeah, because even seventeen is like a serious salary for a twenty-year-old. Yeah, uh, I'd left college to do the show and couldn't really get back in. So, like, my parents were a little bit like, "What the fuck? Why are you saying no to work?" Yeah, um, long term, it worked out good. Oh, amazing! Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because when you left, then they brought Ike and Josh Myers, right? And that's where my pain started. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Yeah. Because these two kids, like if you don't know, Josh is uh, Seth Meyers' is younger mm -hmm. brother. Ike Barinholtz is on the Mindy Project and um, on everything and on everything mm -hmm. right now. And they, they work were, together. They were a duo. Boom, they auditioned Chicago. together. Oh. Right. Boom. Yeah. Oh, you're so smart. You know everything. <laughs> you just know the I facts don't know. Huh? about that stuff. Yeah. Yeah. About, yeah. about um. sketch. <laughs> <laughs> about yeah, the yeah, two yeah. sketch shows yeah, I've been yeah. on. Yeah, I, yeah. I paid attention. <laughs> <laughs> and they and the writers knew them too right, as well right sure and i was a stand-up and i didn't know how to do it yet mm. i still might not know how but, uh, <laughs> i still might but not i couldn't know. even you know how they say that old term fake it till you make it I yeah yeah do that well i mean like we attempted a couple of times i remember us trying to like write a snowboard sketch together <laughs> like, please tell me like, how that went like snowboard oh, yeah, 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 well yeah. also because we didn't have real dressing rooms we were in a trailer outside of the building that's right we were yeah. in like is that where the new kids yeah, yeah. 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 oh they separate yeah a hundred percent everybody else had like decent and and again sasso it was the year that the tenacious d album came out so i would go into his dressing room and he'd play the songs and we'd sing them together he's he was oh the best. wow he was the best. yeah he's the best yes and that was um, that was the year where I, I remember my first sketch was I played Jackie Chan, of course, <laughs> of and course. Deborah Wilson played uh, Chris Tucker, right? <laughs> okay. And Will Sasso was Lance Bass, and we were on his talk show. Great. Great. Sounds like Matt this TV. Back in the day, we're like Matt three TV characters sketch. throw him in the fucking bowl, you know what I mean? And mix it. <laughs> Let's see what happens. And I remember like who's on the cover of People right now? <laughs> <laughs> it's a sketch. Oh really? I feel like those three oh, people would be, probably oh, yeah, be, be amazing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that would be amazing. They should do that movie or whatever. But, they um, should. So they had me on. They had me in early. I was the earliest guy for the call sheet, <laughs> but I was the last sketch. <laughs> this is back. You know, they could have to put the prosthetic nose. Yes. Right. This is back in the day when you. Otherwise, new. you wouldn't have looked like Jackie Chan. <laughs> <laughs> Well, is that a racial dig there, Tara Tara? Uh, no, no. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I was just saying I had a killer chan, and I felt overlooked. But they had me in early, but then I was the last sketch. When it, like, if I had to do it now, 
I'm last. I'm going to come in last. Right. But they could just like put me in at five in the morning. Totally. Have me sit there all day. You know what I mean? Yeah. But anyway. You get the pat. You get the, the printout, the email. So obviously there's internet the night before of the list and you'd tear like I would go through and like which oh, parts yeah. am I going to read and oh, the stress yeah, yeah. of oh, my the God. table read oh my the table um, those are the wor- yeah were they the worst they were tricky they were tricky in what way because you they, you didn't get them emailed they would drop it off at your house that's right you, right that's by mail right no copies? somebody would literally drive to your house wow. yes that's and right and the packets were like this thick huge yeah they would read like 45 sketches and they would pick six. And you sit at like a <laughs> Last Supper table with all the cast. Right. So you're all like side by side with everybody. You can't really yeah. act or relate. And it's just all the producers and writers across from and you. And the network across from you. Now, do people yeah. get fired at these table reads? Like if you're no. doing so terribly? May, uh, not not in my time there. Not in my experience. Well, I mean, but. not on our show, but you've heard of it. And for other pilots, show, pilots and frequently, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. frequently. But yeah. here's the problem. All right, so you're in four, there's forty three sc- three sketches that you get, <laughs> but you might be in four. Yeah, yeah, right. Mm-hmm. And if they're only going to pick six then out of forty three, <laughs> that would mean nothing. Mm-hmm. And I remember going. That's what was hard for me is I would go through the thing. Your name's not. And up. I would be Japanese businessman number one. I have no line. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know what I mean? Oh, I'm a fucking tree. <laughs> yeah. I'm a tree. No, I'm being. I'm not lying. Totally. A fucking tree. <laughs> yeah. And it, there was no. It, it had nothing to do with the sketch. It was just like <laughs> right. we don't know what else to do with them. Right. Yeah. We got to put them in it. You know. Yeah. And I remember, I just didn't know how to do it. And I remember like, even just stuttering. We're, we're, you know mm-hmm. what they did to me, Taryn, when you left? <laughs> Taryn, this is what they did to me when you left. No yeah. one else can hear. They made a, um, there was a tape passed around to all the writers of all my flub lines. Oh. And I was like a, a joke reel kind of a thing. Ugh. And they were passing it around for a year. It was like not, Shit. you know, for, it was like one of those things like, you know how you like read, watch YouTube videos of like a, a lady slipping on grapes and breaking her back? It's my yeah. favorite. The fake yeah. classic. classic. The classic <laughs> grape slip. <laughs> that one. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah but that was yeah. like me. And yeah. when I, and then I saw the tape and it said, Bobby, and, and I don't know what it is. Bobby's a fucking idiot or whatever on the thing. <laughs> yeah. And I go, what is yeah. that? Oh, you don't know about that? Right. Go, no, they're no. like, oh, that's every scene you do. Right. God. And I was just like, oh, you guys made that? That's a cruel thing. Did you ever find funny. out who the source it's, was? It's mm. tricky because there's also such power. And I found this true at, at SNL as well, that the writers have this weird power where they are determining the material for the most part and with no vocal risk, right? Like no, no, no perceptible risk. Because, yeah. you know, 40 sketches and you can barely remember. But if you're the one who has to read it in front of all of your peers. Yeah. It, it's a real unfair pressure. And I'm sure like that was put together sort of like, you know, ha 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 comedy people razzing and roasting. But but without the empathy of like what you have to go to yeah. go through every week. Putting yeah. yourself out, asking everybody on the show out. To the dance, basically. Every yeah, week yeah, yeah, yeah. Was that, now, horrible. was the pressure on SNL worse? Um, well, I knew what I was doing at SNL. After Matt TV, all the people, most of the people who were nice came from Groundlings. So I started taking classes there after I left Matt oh, TV and I started I didn't know that. taking classes at Groundlings. Yeah. So I felt more prepared. And I did feel Matt TV in some way prepared me for an environment, for a harsh environment and for mm-hmm. critical. Um, and, and, and for, um, disposable creative effort. Yeah. Um, but then you also feel the status of it and that's a different kind of pressure too wow. of, of the institution that it is and, and what it means to be there. I mean, yeah. just alone, the guest stars on it. I mean, sure. I, that must be just, sure. I mean, you're getting the cream of the yeah. crop. I, I, yeah. I was more excited and giddy probably mostly because of my youth, but also, because the year I was there, Blink-182 hosted wow. one of my favorite Amazing. bands at that point. Tenacious D and Jack Black were there. Lost my damn mind. Oh my couldn't God. believe it. Um, so like, I was more of a nerd about that because it was also my first experience with that. Yeah. And you learn pretty quickly at SNL to kind of get over the 
the fame element of who right, yeah, there, yeah, yeah, and, yeah, that, sure, and that sure, it's yeah. only going to serve you to treat them like a like a right, person. Yeah, yeah. You know? I mean, were you like Lauren? Was it scary? Was he certainly intimidating? Yeah, absolutely intimidating. Um, and and overall, over my whole time, it, it, it's weird because I saw both very good and very kind and very. Uh, complimentary and supportive and human uh, moments. Yeah, and then and then opposite, very dismissive, very cold, very um, what felt like you know passive punishment type m moments as well. Yeah, yeah. But do you ever get like even on um, like I mean Dick Blutucci is not even the same <laughs> sure. element, right? But sure, sure, Dick sure. Blutucci was our right producer. But they got to the point where I could call him, sure, mm. and go, "What's up?" You know what I mean? Yeah. The but did, is that you can't do that with him? I right? got email. Like that's the closest it got. <laughs> oh, I got email. Shit. Right. But certainly, like David Salzman's much more accessible. Than <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Rita. You're right, Rick. Rita. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, <laughs> you can approach them and come yeah, to their yeah. house, right. show up, yeah, and just right. show up and go, "What's up? Yeah, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? How come I'm not in the sketch? <laughs> I'm in four. Yeah, I'm in four. Thing. Yeah. But yeah. Um. So yeah, because I everyone I've talked to, mm -hmm. you know. And if you read Live from New York and mm -hmm. just some of these, it's just, I wouldn't, I honestly, when I found out you were on the show, I'm like, good for him. He's so talented. But I just know for me, I just wouldn't be able to do it. It's tough. I think so. It's tough. Yeah. It, you are a sensitive little bird. Yeah. 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 I'm a very, what? Paranoid. <laughs> it, I'm still paranoid. Yeah. Still paranoid. Oh yeah. Then it would. It would destroy. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I already. I, yeah, destroy. I, I, I know. I know it would. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, mm -hmm. I get destroyed now in the simplest things. You know what sure. I mean? Like um, Video Village. I, I can't. I hate it. <laughs> yeah. You do a take, and you're like your per peripherals on Video Village, mm -hmm. and then you just imagine what they're saying about you. I just right. can't fucking do it. Right, 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 right. But you see, but you like, have the job. See That's all those I, little things you're doing right now. Your little what? like crafty fucking Dir grown up fucking director yeah, tactics. Yeah, yeah. It's great. No, it's no. You're right. Cash the check. Bro. Yeah, but I know. I know. But cash me, the check. All bro. right, Karen. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Well, let me just say something to you. Great. Did you learn that? Yeah, certainly. Over time, I, 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 I in that, what are you going to benefit from being paranoid, or are you going to catch them? Like, is that is that the ideal of <laughs> oh, that? Yeah. Is your paranoia going to lead you to catching them, and then you're not made a fool? They're the fool because they're caught red-handed, and you were you have the upper hand for being so insightful and observant. Observant is that that's the best scenario, right? That's exhausting, and who cares? <laughs> that's true. Whoa, yeah. I, this is exactly what I needed right now. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck! But let gotcha. me ask you this though, because because their shit isn't your shit, right? People who make a tape about you and put it around and laugh and it makes you feel bad, that's their sh that's on them. That's not a, that's not a judgment. That's not right. a reflection of who you are as a performer or as a human but being. But now, okay, because I brought the tape up though, right? Uh-huh. You could understand though when you experience that, yes. something like that. Yes, mm -hmm. right? definitely. You think in your head, it's you get PTSD from it. Sure. No, I believe it. So sure. then you, I carry that into every job. Now, I don't, I don't behave in a, in a erratic way. They don't think... Oh my God, Bobby's paranoid. I keep it to myself. Mm -hmm. I come home and she gets oh, it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this poor girl. Yeah. I mean, it's like yeah. they hate me. I can, you know what I mean? Even but after mm -hmm. last week's rap party, it was like a, he was there for an hour and he came back just sobbing. No one yeah. likes me. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's. I, I know yeah. it's part of. It's, but, I think. I think you have not you, the royal you, either have a tendency towards that or don't. You know, yeah. in your chemical makeup. But I definitely, if you're nice and you're a good person and your intention is good, fuck everybody else. Right. Yeah. And you, you made a, a good point beforehand. It's like, if they're saying we're moving on. Yeah. You know, it's basically them saying we got what we needed. Yes. You've done your job. You did your job. Yes. Thank you. And we're leaving. I just want them to suck my dick every once in a while, but they're not going to do that. I hear you. Yeah, well, and that's not their job. not in the current climate. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> out there. Figuratively. You know it what I mean? It is crazy out um, Yeah, no, exactly. Especially if, especially on a scripted show where your character is locked, you're hired for a weekly episodic. Yeah, if they only need two takes and they say, great, moving on, you did your job. Wow. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's their job to say to you, we need something different, and if they don't do that, then either they're bad at their job or they have what they want, and that's on them. That's not on you. Wow. I needed him fucking... 
I needed him fucking two months ago, baby. Oh, oh just my god! Oh dear, the fourth. <laughs> that one sounded <laughs> wet, man. What? That was wet. That was wet. It was I'm, a shallow wipe day. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, um, at my age now. <laughs> I really believe it's not. I, I'm breaking down. Forty mm. six. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm almost fifty, man. That's not. That's fine. What? That's fine. I understand by that, but I don't live well. Okay. Well, yeah, <laughs> that's, that's an fine. issue. So with the donuts, <laughs> right? And uh, I mean, and there's some healthy snacks. What do we? Oh, we got a jug of toffee. brittle. Toffee. Okay, we have to- toffee brittle. Yeah, I yeah. hate that shit. The dry- by the way, these dried mangoes. These chock full of sugar. That? Is it? Yeah, it's all okay. sugar. Okay, okay. that's yeah. fine. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> Lacroix, right? <laughs> La Croix, right? <laughs> Zero yeah. cucumber Lacroix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you ever? Let me ask you something about Lacroix. I know the are sponsors. No. What Lacroix? All of a sudden, this is the thing. For sure. It is. Yeah. It is the zero calorie. It's the flavoring, but it's still not necessarily great for you because of the carbonation, right? For your teeth in mm. particular. What does that do? Whoa, what does it do with your teeth? Carbon- now, what, yeah, hey, here's down. a new paranoia. Now, what does fucking carbonation do to your teeth? It 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 erodes the enamel and oh it my and God. It, yeah if you if you are constantly doing it if you you know they have there's videos online you can see if you leave a <laughs> tooth in soda oh overnight. Then well, it'll Bobby eat it doesn't away. have enamel. You want to tell him? Oh dear. He has four enamels total. Four, four, four of his left. Right. <laughs> Actually, have maintained, yeah. and, and the rest are just raw nerves. <laughs> just exposed nerves. Just like, just like whale teeth. Oh, like, <laughs> okay. Soft, baleen. Soft yeah. whale teeth. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have you seen what whale teeth look like? It's I baleen. Uh, it's like little straw. There's just certain things I've learned over time. You can chew meat with gums. <laughs> <laughs> you can. You've adapted. It takes a while, yeah, and it sure. hurts. But you but digest it better too. Maybe, yeah. But you know, back in the day when you would see like homeless people with <laughs> right, no teeth, like, how do they you. eat? Gums. Like, you gums. Gums. You know. Yeah. All those back in time homeless can, people. You look at my. I look fine, right? <laughs> you look great. When you like my teeth, right? You look the same <laughs> as when we met, Exa- and I. Thank look you. No, you look different. exactly the same. You're like oh, more right. of a man. Yeah. You were sure. boyish back then. I was very young. Yeah. But all the teeth that you see are the ones that exist. Don't look. Don't look. You're talking to <laughs> All right, the back. There's no uh-huh. back. Okay. Yeah, there is no back. Okay. Oh. Because I don't uh, floss. Yeah. Yeah, I brush, but once a day. Okay. And um, I didn't go to dentist for like 15 years. Mm. Right, but you go now. Yeah. So do you have super teeth in the back? No, nothing. Like, you're not. You gums. haven't done that yet. Gums. Just gums. Just yeah, raw yeah, gums. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. I wonder if they could put just one cool. giant molar. Yeah, back that's there, cool. You know, instead of putting multiple molars, sort just of like one... a Bond villain tooth. <laughs> yeah, just a like, long they, one. They just call him Chomper. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got like two giant metal. They're like Stimpy. The Stimpy from another Stimpy, like yeah. a gigantic yeah. block mm. of tooth. Yeah. yeah. Back there. Hey, Red. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's a great idea. They, yeah. do, would I have to go, like, suggest it to them, well, or do they, they already have it? They do that sometimes when they don't. They don't put the proper tooth in the right place when they implant the teeth because they don't want to create gaps where things can get in between. Sure. So the cosmetic dentist will usually say, "Hey, we'll put a bigger one here, Whoa. just so there aren't any gaps between your teeth." Whoa. So you can tell them instead of making a molar, make a giant molar. That's dope. Whoa. Or like have like just one long curved like mouth, <laughs> mouth, mouth, <laughs> mouth <laughs> just a mouth guard too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come, like come, exactly come, like a mouth guard. Yeah. Just one giant come, one. Come, come. Yeah, well, like the grills, like mask teeth, Gr- like Jim Carrey's the mask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's come, what I want. That's what I want. That's what I want. But do they? Do they? Is that the time where they shave down the tooth and then they put it on top of and it? And they drill it in and they have to like. Drill or do they it drill the? Those are veneers the... when they shave it down to like a. Why don't just do veneers oh. all the way to the back? Yeah, but your t- front teeth are fine. Those are actually those have to be implanted. No, oh, what dear. you do is you shave down the front teeth, right? <laughs> yeah. Then you put the veneers on top of it, but make the whole thing. The oh, whole but thing. you add the connection, extend, it? extend yeah. to the back. Extend it. Extends we can, we can ask. ask. I can surely inquire for you. <laughs> contact a dentist. Let's ask that. You have two kids now? I have two children, yeah. I yeah. can't fucking believe it. I know. What I are know. their names? Shaylin and Joelle. Ooh. Joelle's a boy? They're both female. Girl. Joelle is a girl's name. Joel. Joel is. Yeah. Joelle. Jolene. Right. That song, Jolene? Jolene. 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 No. Jolene. Jolene. Yeah, 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 yeah. Two daughters. Are they twins? No. Eight and three years old. You have a fucking eight year old? Yeah, bro. Damn. Yeah, bro. <laughs> wait, wait. So when I am when I am your age, she will have spent a year at college. <gasps> oh ah. my fucking god! This is blowing my fucking mind out I of the know. water right now. Yeah. 
Yeah, we should have done done. that. Huh? Get it out yeah, of the we're way. We're a little behind on the game, but that's okay. We aborted two. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I literally cleaned the game. Every time. <laughs> he lost it. <laughs> <laughs> No, <laughs> we're never going to announce that again. Uh, we're not going to announce that again. But my point is, is that so before you got SNL, you had your first daughter. Correct. So how was how did that? So you you were living in LA. Yeah, and, and then my you got wife the was on a TV show here. How I met so, your mother. Yes. Okay. Exactly. And so for the first four seasons, I was flying back and forth between every hiatus week. I'd come back to LA. Oh my! It was a lot. Fucking god! For four years. Yeah. It was That's, a ton. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. And so you come back for a week. Correct. You wait, wait, you so you would shoot three weeks and then or how does that it work? It mixed it up. Yeah, like three on one off, two on two off. It, it's all choppy all Right, right, right. And, and then, then you come back. Yeah. And then spend a week. Correct. And then have to go back. The worst. Yeah. The worst. And did they pay I, mean, I don't know how much you made, but like in the beginning I will was tell it, you this. What? The, you can say it if you want. I made starting on SNL, yeah, three thousand dollars less a week. Than we initially got paid on Mad TV <gasps> ten years earlier, and I know that number really. Yeah, that's insane. Wait, huh? Yeah. yeah. See that, and do they put you up? They give you a relocation fee. Okay. So like a one time, and if you have kids, it's a little bit bigger. Damn. Oh wow, that's insane. Yeah, yeah. And they can do that. They do it. Yeah. It's like people go to the comedy store and they go, "Wow, look at this lineup, right? <laughs> How much are you getting paid? Fifteen bucks, right?" And people can't believe it. Why do you do it? It's just you have to do it to compete. Yeah. There are just certain things you do and you go, this is going to be beneficial to my life mm. because in the long run, you're going to make so much more. I mean, that's just the beginning. Mm. Right. And yeah. it did so much for you. It, I, the opportunities that have come from right. SNL are Right. It changed yeah. your life. Yeah, almost. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, you became like the guy. My the, job. Yeah, yeah, the funny white dude on SNL. Yeah. And, and it, you know, it gets so funny because... You know, you and I, yeah. <laughs> it's whisper. You and I haven't, you know, run into each other. And then, mm -hmm. like, you, but then you got on that. And then I was just like, maybe he'll forget about me. No. You think that in your head, like, oh, they're in a different club. Remember when we went to that CAA party? I'm like, this is the clubhouse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> got in. Like, now I'm starting getting invited to, uh -huh. like, the club again. Oh, okay. Because I was out for years. So I was holding her hand and we're walking and the music was playing and you get the little foods, you know what I mean? And yeah. you go, whoa, I gotta invite her back into the club, yeah. right? And so you think that when people go to the clubhouse, they forget, but they don't. Mm. Yeah, no. Not Taryn. Why no, are you man. not looking at me, babe? You're just a difficult face to forget altogether. <laughs> just your shape, your overall shape. It was a very. Just... It was an intimate experience, I think. Us getting hired on that show to get like, and I and I would go and see you perform at the comedy store, and yeah. I never like done that, and watching you do your thing, and then hanging out in the parking lot afterward. You know, like yeah. It was so many firsts, so intense, so exciting. Yeah. Yeah. You know when we there's a, I'm not going to name the name but mm -hmm. you when you and I were at that st testing for the show yeah we had the studio at Hollywood Center Studios and there was an actress there who when we left she, I go are you going to test she goes nah I, I'm asking for ten grand well, that's what she said well at the time it was what sixty five hundred dollars yeah or fifty five or fifty five hundred dollars I think seventy five is what I remember. That's what you got. Okay. <laughs> End of podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This has been I, I Tiger think, Belly. I, I, I got 6500 right? And she goes, I need 10 grand, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And she never tested. She oh, wow. asked for the money and they said well, no, right? 12 years later, mm -hmm. I'm at a restaurant and she was my waitress. Wow. wow. And the first thing that she said to me, not even high, was I shouldn't have taken it. I should have taken it. Wow. Damn. And I go... I, it made me want to cry. Sure. Because it's like one dis one ego decision mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. You know, he was when you know when he didn't go back to Matt. I we I think we were all fine. He's a young guy. He's talented. And you had already done stuff before that, but with her, it was her first thing. I just don't think that you can make those kind of decisions, especially now. Mm -hmm. Now it's so difficult. You think so? There's so much more to do now. Yeah, but you don't. Hulu, it's harder Amazon, to make it. YouTube Red. I think it's harder to make it. But like, you look at like, what are the the brothers that do videos on YouTube? The Paul, Paul oh, Lloyd, Logan Joe, Paul, Logan yeah. Paul, the Pauls. Yeah. Yes. yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, yeah, you're right. You won. Yeah. 
That, that dimple. That's, that's you dimple. won that one. Come on. You did. Yeah, you won that one. You know I know. What I mean? It's yeah. ambition. It's always ambition. Right. It has been hard work and ambition. Always. But it, but Paul, I don't know the two you're talking about, but that's lighting in the bottle shit, right? They don't. I mean, like everyone. Here's the thing: is you that know, everyone's YouTube going guys. in. Well, what it is is, is YouTube guys. YouTube guys, and and the and that sort of celebrity is all about access, right? They're re- willing to give all of themselves to their fans. Right. Welcome mm-hmm. to my house. Here's my bathroom. Here, this is my ad. Like they give the address, and like it's little crazy. girls show yeah. up and hang out yeah. outside their house. Yeah, and that's a different kind of thing. But they make a very decent living. Very good living. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And then. Um, but I prefer this style. Now, as soon as Mad happened, did that help stand up? Didn't that help like your your booking? Yeah, but know? what happened was I after Mad, I had a deal, a couple of deals, mm-hmm. and I did a couple of pilots. Mm-hmm. Didn't work out, and then I just slowly started not being invited to getting auditions. You know, I couldn't yeah, get yeah. back in the room, and then I just was talking to my agent. He was just like, "I go, I don't know how I'm gonna make money." It's been a couple years now. Mm. And he goes, you got to do the road. And so I started doing the road and I stayed on the road for a while. And I would headline and it's fun. You make great money. Mm -hmm. But it gets to the point and I love meeting people and I love, you know, the experience, some of the experiences, but it gets to the point where it's really dreadfully depressing. Yeah. Because you're in the woods. Like some clubs, you're in the woods for like a week. Yeah. You turn on the TV and you see your friends doing shit. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I don't know why you're laughing. You like my pain. You like my pain? Uh, you love it, right? It's hilarious. <laughs> I remember being in, like my friend. I remember being in Nebraska or something, and I remember like my friend was on TV, and I was on in the shitty hotel room, mm-hmm. and just tears, like yeah. during the day coming. It was so hot; too. it was coming down my face. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And going, I'm never. And then what happened was I just you just let it go. Yeah. And you just yeah. go, that's not my life now. I had to f- figure it out. And then once I accepted my situation, I started doing Chelsea lately and then um and then got then that one year I got animal practice, the dictator, a bunch of shit, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm, and then mm-hmm. it's been fine since then. But my point though is is that, you know, there I believe that that was good for me. Yeah. Anyone listening now? Oh, Everyone oh, listening boy. now. Let me just say something right now, right? Oh, Tune back in. But, you know, I- the bad times are good. You learn yeah. so much from the. Ba- Why yeah. are you laughing? It's good. You fuck nut. You. <laughs> I'll fucking whip your my. I can't so. whip my dick out anymore. <laughs> you can, so no, don't bad. do that. My dick out anymore. It's, it's, it, it, it was like we've the, all seen it. <laughs> yeah, I know. True. I know. Also true. But I know everyone's seen it. I have only seen it in a performance. That's what I'm saying. Like yeah. she was saying, even in performance. Well, just to be, uh, just to err on the safe side, since everything's really, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. dangerous right now. I'm just saying you're you're seen already by a lot as like someone who's sexually deviant because that's the image you you put out. So let's just err on the safe side and don't. Yeah, show but if your, I'm on stage, and don't Toki, show your pubes. And Toki the Dum Dum wants to come out. I can't bring Toki the Dum Dum. No, you can't. Toki the Dum Dum has to stay yeah, yeah. in. He wants to play though. Yeah, to- but Toki's going on sabbatical. <laughs> He is. Yeah. So, oh, but he likes to perform. Yeah. He likes you know, to put, put, put Tokyo on a cruise. Yeah, oh, put him on the cruise. <laughs> yeah, cruise yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, Tokyo, you want to go on a cruise, but uh, Alaskan send cruise. Send him up the Rhine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but let me say something though. In a perform, like I'll give you an example. All right, a stripper. Mm-hmm. Let's just listen. Great. To me. Uh, sure. <laughs> A stripper goes up. You right, rest your case. And shows her titty and her vagina. That's one thing. She's performing, uh-huh, right? Uh-huh. People are there to see that. But uh-huh. if people already know that I'm or, I'm kind of a stripper mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. I don't touch them in a sexual way mm-hmm. and a sack falls out, <laughs> you know what I mean? One of Toki's like, like limbs, a, yeah. right? <laughs> okay. It's a part cushion. of Toki. Now, where was it? What was it in before? <laughs> what do you mean? Why? Did, where did the sack <laughs> fall out of? Oh, from the cruise ship. Like, from the cruise ship. No. The cruise ship. Got it, got it, got it. I have whole... The, I have, <laughs> yeah. the sack was in the buffet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The sack was in the buffet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's exactly the way to put it. It was in the buffet, right? Toki and, comes out. The sack is up inside of something? <laughs> what do you mean? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the, the sack... I, I wear clothing where right. Toki can breathe. Got it. Right. right? 
They're like windows. Uh huh. Okay? okay. My jeans have windows. Great. And every once in a while, Toki will stick out a limb and go, uh-huh. oh, I, you know, it's hot. And a breeze. Right, right, right. I need a so breeze. You're I need a like, breeze. Through like, through like the, the potty hole, through yeah, like yeah, the pee hole. Yes. You're pulling him out of there. Yes. And he brings a friend along. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Well, it's a part of him, but right, yeah, right, you can right. say friend. Okay, I get what you're it. saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if um, Toki's <laughs> all right, so Toki peeks his little eye out right. oh. of, the, of the little window, yeah, 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 and, and, and humans see it, sure, in a show environment. Okay, could that get me in trouble? I, I don't know. I don't know. He's not Toki's. I, not, I don't think it should, but I don't. Toki's know. not going. I wanna. I wanna go inside you. Mm. That's not what Toki's doing. That's not. Yeah, Toki's to- character. Yeah. <laughs> He would never do that. He would never do that, right? Yeah. How do you know That's Toki so well, Karen? You know How do you know him so Toki well? Guys, day. Listen, first job, <laughs> yeah. sharing a two bag. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> we did share a two bag. Michael McDonald won't talk to you. You gotta find something I to know, do. Dude, he didn't talk to me for a while, bro. Yeah. And then one day, can I tell you the most hurtful thing he did? Yeah. So the second year I was there, and I was friends with Ike and Josh. Mm-hmm. And I, I was one weekend, and I called Ike, and I go, what are you doing? Let's go watch a movie or something. He goes, we're all out in Sonoma. Yeah. I go, who? Everybody. Oh, yeah, that's a bummer. That's a bummer. And Mike had invited everyone there. Mm-hmm. And I wasn't invited. That's rough. And so for years, you know, I would be scared of him and stuff. Mm-hmm. But it got, because I, I eight years, and then like year four or five, Became yeah, really good friends. Like, yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's I, he he's been he's so great. lovely to me now. Yes, exactly. And you know what I like? You know what I like? Guys, where I have to earn their friendship. I agree. Sometimes in some situations, I agree. Because it's like you know, if you know, you look at guys like um, like back in the day when I was a young guy, like Dice. Mm-hmm. You know, you can say think what you want, but as a stand up, Dice wasn't inviting in the beginning. Mm. And then once you, years go by and he could tell that you're not going to go away, you know, you're mm-hmm. a kid that's mm-hmm. like in it. Then one day he's like, hey, Ching. He used to call me Ching. <laughs> hey, Ching, how you doing? Mm-hmm. And you go, oh, my God. You know, if he had done that right away, mm-hmm. I, he still doesn't know my name. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> he still calls me Ching. But hey, Ching, I saw you on fucking YouTube. You know what I mean? Or whatever. But like, I'm glad that he, I had to earn his, you know what I mean, respect. Yeah. Whoa, I prefer that. I prefer when people are just nice. <laughs> I'll go with that. Too. I know. You I know, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. You know? Yeah. That's always that's always a little bit better. But, some but don't sometimes people don't turn. No, this is true. Some people just stay dicks. Yes, that's true. And um, I've I've had to learn that too. Mm-hmm. You're not gonna like everybody, and not everybody's gonna like you. And but in this world, they're life. just fucking assholes. That is true. Yeah, I think there are. Because you've always been a nice guy, mm-hmm. but you also have the talent. So just Thanks. hear me out. Okay. You're nice. Okay, so you're cute as fuck. That's cool. What? <laughs> Thanks. That's cool. What does it work? You're, you're, wel- Thanks. you're welcome. Cool. Yeah. You're thank welcome. You. Thank you. Okay. Am I all right? You're great. Thank you. You're adorable. That's all I wanted. That's all I wanted. I, your not, hair you're cute. is phenomenal. Thank, okay. Okay. Let's move on. Too much? Yeah. I'm pushing now. You're cute as fuck. <laughs> You're super funny, dude. That's I funny. legitimately want. I'm about to cry. I legitimately, <laughs> I legitimately re- think that. Thanks, dude. I and number three. Do the same um, you. You're sweet. You're a sweet guy. Okay. Mm-hmm. So when somebody like you works, I go, okay, I get it. He has all of it, right? You have the same thing. You're not cute. Oh, well, but you're a nice guy. <laughs> down to deep down inside, dude, you've done things. George, you're a good dude. You do things for me, and I, I really like it. What about skin skin? Ah. Oh, oh. No. Oh. You know what? You, everything but your nose is great. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, say, I love you. I love you. I do. I, you know what? I got to say this. I, I, you know, that's funny, what I just did. You're God. You're a child of God, mm. and you are who you are. And I enjoy everything about you. <laughs> no, but but back to the tape people made where they made fun of you and it hurt your yeah. feelings. Um, <laughs> Do you ever worry that maybe you do that to other people? Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. I do do it. Mm-hmm. Now I do do it. In jest? I think you probably justify it like I'm in, in jest. Yeah, I do but do it. I know. Should I stop doing it? <laughs> Only you can answer that. Whoa. Whoa. What are you fucking Yoda now? This guy's great. 
Oh, yes. the fucking 15 years I haven't seen you fucking Yoda now? <laughs> you fuck. <laughs> Holy shit. Has it been really 15? I haven't seen him in a while. It hasn't been. I mean, I, like, I, I feel like we've crossed paths either at the store or, oh, yeah, or, yeah. or at functions. Yeah, or I've but... seen you. Yeah, we've. And whenever we, I see you, it's nice. Yeah. Yeah. But I haven't seen him in a while. And maybe when, you no, no. do do that. You do that with all of us. Yeah. You do you are you able to tell the difference when you're giving somebody a hard time because you're joke because you're doing bit you're in bit mode and when you're doing it because there's really some truth to it. Can you differentiate? I did, can I just say this? Ninety nine point nine percent of the time there's never truth to it. Right. I I never I'm never harsh on anybody mm -hmm. if it's not a joke. Mm -hmm. I do it just strictly on joke. Yeah. On, on that level. I I don't even remember the last time where I was really berating somebody because I was so angry. Mm. Mm, that's true. That's true, right? Yeah. I mean, I, and so, um, I used to tackle guys and just like <laughs> tickle and stuff, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. In in a in a in a bro way, in a bro way, heterosexual way, yeah, right? Cool way, a bro ticker. Sometimes <laughs> I wouldn't tickle their cool face. way. You know cool I mean? way. It's not cool if you've seen the tickling documentary. <laughs> I know. And then right. Polly goes, that Polly Shore, Polly Shore goes, you know, you learned that from me, did right? Mm. And I remember, yeah, because for years. He used to pin me down. Oh wow! And tickle me, and so, <laughs> you know, I've learned all this bad behavior. Do, for do you remember that like like pot commercial where the oh. dad's standing over the bed? He's like, "Where did you get this?" Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and the kid goes, "I learned it from you." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's you exactly, and Polly. That's me and Polly. That's you and Polly, but with tickling yeah. instead of marijuana. <laughs> Cool. But the, I think maybe the tape creepier. thing, the tape thing, maybe the tape thing sparked something in me. Mm. Maybe all these little things I, that I'm speaking more to because I have always found you to be very kind and very jovial, very joyful in my experience with you. Limited as it may be, maybe yeah. I've never got super personal, but always very pleasant. And comedy in itself has a cynicism and has a negativity and has. Uh, especially comedians with comedians, I have found you remove tact or 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 manners or you know uh, you can get to truths faster mm. because you take you take for granted sometimes uh, for good and sometimes for bad that we're here we're here to laugh we're on yeah. the same page. There's an unspoken rule that what we're doing is we're getting to the laugh by any means necessary and. You know, with an audience, you have to find the line, but with comedians, you, I at least, speaking for myself, feel more safe breaking the line or, or pushing it around or crossing, you know? Yeah. And it's, and it's a very different thing that someone who isn't existing in comedy would hear some of the things said and be horrified, like yeah. right. truly mortified. Right. And you have to then like backtrack and go, no, 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 understand right. that this is not who I am. It's kind of a character and we kind of say it because it's not the appropriate thing to say because that's funny and it's taboo and we're trying to shock each other. Yeah. And, it, and, it, and it's tricky. It's it is tricky. tricky. And sometimes it bleeds over by accident. Into, exactly. Right. Socially. And you'll right. say something and they'll be like, what? Right. They go, oh, fuck. Yeah, yeah, My yeah. bad. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. Like when I first met Chris D'Elia, two meals in, he goes, bring out Toki. So I took out my <laughs> penis and I did a little a show for him, right? Yes, yeah. And, like, and, and I, on the, is it, can I talk about this or no? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And I would have, I would put the little sax on you know, with the uh -huh. hand, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. He was singing, you know, right. he's very talented. Sure, sure, Test sure. well, focus yeah. groups like yeah, yeah. that. Focus group <laughs> style, yeah, yeah. style all goes dying, way up. All goes crazy. <laughs> way up. It's like a baby or an animal. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Number three. But uh, you're like kindred too. When I met you, you know, yeah. just like a childlike thing yeah. that you that. You, but then you, you do that like you know, like I'll go to a, I'll on the road and some like doorman will pick me up to bring me to press, right? And I'll poke him in the belly. You fat fuck. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I'm like, right. what? Yeah. And I'll be like, oh, oh my you're, bad. Uh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. My bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I should have done that up front. How about hello, good morning? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, so like all through high school and college, like dead baby jokes was a thing with yeah, me and my friends. All right. And like now I'm a father of two. <laughs> <laughs> and there's no way I can get away with doing a dead baby <laughs> joke at like their potluck for their school. Yeah. You know? <laughs> I've never heard a dead baby. Give me a dead baby joke. Um, there's... What what's what's grosser than gross? What a uh, trash can full of dead babies? What's grosser than that? What one's alive eating its way to the top? Oh! <laughs> that was like that's, yeah, that's good, high school. That's a good that's like one. High school stuff. That's dark. I got one. Yeah. Oh, no. uh, 
But then I, I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> no, it's a dead baby <laughs> joke. It's, no, it's not a dead baby one. It's a pedophile one. Oh, well, no. no. Oh, no. I'll say no. it. I'll just say and it. And it's a picture. Oh my oh. God. Of you. It. I'll just say it. With a kid. <laughs> I'll just say it and then you guys, you could delete it. Okay. But I didn't write it. This Chris is a street joke. Oh, okay. I didn't like, write it. It's a street joke that somebody, author. that uh, another comic, it older comic told me. I, I love know. street yeah, jokes. Yeah, you love, don't you love street jokes? Give me with a classic street <laughs> joke. <laughs> What's the best thing about making love to a twelve-year-old girl? <sighs> nothing. <laughs> all right, nothing. All right, about boy, I'll just go boy. Okay, I'll, I'll twist it because you have daughters, right? What, it's what's all the right, best thing? What, 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 what is it? I believe, if I'm recalling correctly from memory, yeah, your penis so, looks so big in their little hands. <laughs> no. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I've heard that one. I've heard that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can one, use yeah. their tears as lubrication. <laughs> oh. oh. <laughs> Pretty and that, good. And that was street jokes uh, with yeah, Terry yeah. Killam <laughs> and Bobby Lee. Ah. Was that pretty good or is that too much? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because uh, it's, that's the worst that you could do. Yeah. But imagine doing it like, mm -hmm. you know, anyway. Um, Did you guys read the New Yorker <laughs> Oh, article? boy. Oh, so she's here to switch Segway, gears? Segway, yeah. Segway lady. I love yeah. it. Segway lady. No, well, not that much of a seg because it still has to do with, um, well, sort of, not pedophilia, but um, <laughs> Weinstein. You hear about, read about his army of spies on, no. on the New Yorker today. No, so it turns out this guy hired actual like Israeli intelligence to go after oh. the women who were making allegations about him to suppress them. Oh, journalists who were about to, um, journalists who were gonna out him, um, Rose McGowan and a lot of other women. He would, he, he basically had, it's a, a company called Black Cube. Ugh. And it's, it's a great name. It's yeah. so cool. <laughs> Love yeah, that app. Good so name. cool. Good app. And it's, hey, and you play Black Cube. <laughs> <laughs> New Call of Duty on Black Cube yeah. has the best yeah. graphics. <laughs> yeah, um, crazy? That, that is crazy. crazy. That's the world. Is so crazy. he, how much? So could I, as a civilian, mm. hire Black Cube? If you had the money, I'm sure. Oh boy, <laughs> don't yeah. do that. Yeah. Come on, get, pick up. Come on, second season. Right, right, right. But you know, at the at the end of the day, I don't know if I've said this before, and I'm I'm gonna tread lightly. I love all of you right. so much. <laughs> is that Harvey Weinstein has a disease? He has um, a mental disease. It's sex addiction. Uh no, it's uh, it's abuse of power is not a mental disease. No, it's there's he is a bad guy. I mean, he's he's got all that other stuff too. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, it's also a a treatable uh, thing that you don't think it's treatable. I mean, it's treatable. But, you know, by, by way of fire, off. yeah, by putting the guy away. Otherwise, he could have, he would have done this for the rest of his life. Even if he was actively getting treatment, my belief is when you're so drunk on that power as he was, and yeah. he's going through, you know, going going as far as to hire the in, mm -hmm. like Israeli. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, you're that's right. That's absurd. You're one hundred percent right. That's yeah. beyond. I'm not, I, there's nothing to defend him mm -hmm. about. I'm just trying to look at it in a way of. If he was my uncle, <laughs> if Harvey was my uncle, what would I have to do Harvey to help him? Bobby forgot about the uncle rule. <laughs> yeah. He's my uncle. Oh, yeah. yeah. uh, wow. Well. This has wow. been addressing sex <laughs> Yeah. with Bobby Lee. And then and Spacey, Tarantino. too. Spacey, too. It's like. Yeah. I mean, the people that were on the set of House of Cards yeah. are saying. Yeah. I was telling her in the car. I go, I've been on many sets, all right? Mm -hmm. Not to brag. Where's the camera? That's dope. But uh, no kidding, and um, I don't know. Like, I show, I try, I show up. Uh huh. You know what I mean? I, I, I. They go go to the dress, uh, go to makeup. I do it. Uh huh. We need you on set. I go, I do it, and I, I, I don't know how you get away with like squeezing a guy's dick. You know, yeah. like why? Will I, what? Yeah. It's a job. Right. Right. And then they let him do it. They, I mean, for years, people just kind of go. I know. Oh, it's Kevin Spacey. That's what he does. Isn't that insane? That's insane. It, uh, thank goodness it's coming to light. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I yeah. can't imagine. But do you think that there's guys like that at Home Depot? What do you mean? Like oh, a guy that's a manager at Home Depot and he every, squeezes a guy. <laughs> everywhere. No, for sure. Of yeah. course. Without yeah, but that guy would get fired right away. It's because Kevin Spacey is talented and he's a Cute. movie star and all that stuff, right? They, yeah. People go, I'm afraid. 
Yes. Right? True. Yeah. I'm afraid that I'll never work again. This is my dream. Like other actors are like, yeah. that's what's fucked up about it. It's like he's taking advantages of people's dreams. Mm-hmm. Right? Like mm-hmm. a young actor who's 14. This is what I want to do for the rest of my life. This is amazing. This guy just fucking grabbed my dick. Right. And he's a man. And he has a lot of power. Right. If I say anything, I can get it. I'm never going to work again. So they they get suppressed. It's fucked up, bro. It is. Mm-hmm. Right? And at the end of the day, here's the message of the end of the show. Here's the message. Don't do it. Brave. You could be gay. You could jerk off or to pour, pour away. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay. This is masturbation. That's yeah, allowable. Yeah. <laughs> jerk off. Yeah. <laughs> Just put your dick in the cruise ship. Wow. Let it sail yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You really understand the complexity <laughs> of this <laughs> situation. You, really. you know what? Yeah. I don't like your tone there. Okay. <laughs> What are we doing at time? <laughs> An hour. We are We're close to it. It's yeah. amazing. Wow. This is what we do at the end, Taryn. Yeah. We do this thing called unhelpful advice. Okay. And people email us questions. <laughs> okay. I great. just wanted to say this too. Like, um, I've had, I we've had guests, but you're in like echelons of the top. Oh, buddy. That's you nice Stone Street. Say. Jordan, it's that same kind of like I just so oh, glad cool. that you did it. Thanks, for man. Us, Me man. too. I really appreciate it. Me too. But ask the question now. Okay. You got it. On helpful advice with Bobby, Kalila, and Taryn Killam. All right. This question is uh from sorry. <laughs> Is from uh, what just happened? I don't know. Second, <laughs> Second City, bro. Derek. That, Second City, is that bro. Oh, natu- is that a filter? Is that just? Oh, that's just low. That's amazing. Right, uh, do you did you ever watch Mr. Show? I can't. I'm. We're at the I, end. I no, you can do whatever no, you, you want. Yeah, Mr. Show. Mr. Watch. Show. David Cross was the character, the character yeah. and it, but you don't even need the hand. No. It's Michael Clark Duncan. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> that's a great Michael right. Clark Duncan. That Michael is. Clark Duncan. Uh, back to Derek who needs help. Thing, <laughs> Sorry. I have a girlfriend that I've been uh, with for almost five years, and I have three kids with her. Recently, she started doing drugs, meth, and drinking, and the next time I've seen her, she had hickeys all over her neck. The sight of this made me angry, but more than anything, I was deeply hurt. Should I work it out because we uh, have children together, or should I cut her off? Uh, all Wait, stop, 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 stop. Yep. Read it again. <laughs> it's so crazy, you got to read it again. I have a girlfriend. Okay, I have, I have a girlfriend. That I had okay. been with for almost five years. Five, five years. years. And, fast. I, and have three kids with her. They went fast. Damn. Three kids. Damn. Recently, she started doing drugs, meth. Meth. Oh, meth. Oh, and drinking. Oh, fuck that drinking. Yeah, meth. meth. And the next time I seen her, she had hickeys all over her neck. Either meth scars or bru- meth bruises or she's fucking other guys. Mm-hmm. Let's this, go with hickeys. Let's go with hickeys. <laughs> The side of this okay. made for me. The kids, <laughs> <listening>. <laughs> I'm trying to be. I'm trying to be medical about it, episode. but all right. The side of this made me angry, but yeah. more than anything, I was deeply hurt. Should I work it out because we have children together, no. or should I cut off all connection with her? I am lost right now. Help me, your fan. Now this is called unhelpful advice, right? <laughs> right. Is the it's usually helpful. Like I'm, I do help. No, 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 no. Okay. We do helpful. Okay. But we you can okay. also give unhelp, real unhelpful well, advice. I mean, the real is you got to contact a lawyer. You got to. You got to keep track of everything that's happening. Get a journal. Get a little moleskin. Keep track of <laughs> when she leaves, when she comes back. Are, let me, let's do a plug for moleskin. Let's do really a great plug fucking journal. You know what I mean? It's Terrence They got they got unlined, lined, <laughs> right. I mean, I got storyboard <laughs> squares. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and and uh, also they have a little like a pockets. string where you can, it, 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 keep your place. Yeah, it keeps its place, mm-hmm. right? Keep your place with a moleskin string. <laughs> right. Moleskin. It's leather, and also it's like what Edgar Allan Poe used. Mm-hmm. Wow. All right. I like celebrity endorsement. All right. Go ahead. So what? Well, you just got to keep track, and you and you have to contact because you need to protect the kids. Yes. First and foremost. That's the real right? reality. If you've been together five, you have three. None of them are older than two years mm. to to change. Maybe. So you're saying you can't protect work it out. You can't well, work it out. No, I'm I'm not saying that, but I'm saying like order of business is we need to protect these children. Mm. We need to contact. Either you know child services if you need help or or legal representation or family if you have that even if it's extended, Bobby will pay to have your children taken to a family member. Yeah, right. Travel even if they're out of state. Yeah, Bobby will pay. <laughs> I'll pay for I'll pay for taxes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, no, but but protect the kids first and foremost. That's the number one. Yeah, and then begin the dialogue of of is, is she willing to get help is she willing to you know address the certain issues but god if there's three kids get them i mean i i read an article and this is not to be funny but um this meth couple they had a newborn and they boiled it yeah 
they boiled a baby alive in their stove. Mm. Okay, that's how delusional and crazy. That's not they a good dead baby joke. I would have believed all. that it wasn't meant to be funny without the yeah. <laughs> disclaimer. Yeah, this is not funny at all. I, I haven't worked out the punchline yet. <laughs> But they boiled the baby. I would have, I would have gone along with yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. No, it's you not guys, funny. I, without you, I don't know what the switch me. is to this bit. Uh, but uh, yeah, yeah, you gotta you got, yeah. listen. Something's a muck. Something's problematic. From your short email, how can we possibly know the specifics and detail and backstory and history of your relationship? But that is not the priority. The priority is not the relationship. It's the children. Exactly. Yeah. And fuck your own feelings. If you're hurt, that's not the priority at right. all. It's the kids. Yes. Yeah, meth is a dangerous drug. And we don't know how much she's doing it or whatnot, but also at the end of the day, it's like if she has a, d d a drug addiction yeah. and she's fucking around behind your back, She's ne obviously just, she doesn't sound like she's she's ne neglecting the children, she's an unfit mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Unfit mother. You got to get out of this situation. You got to protect the kids. Yeah. Right. Now the funny answer is this, right? The unhelpful <laughs> was like <what? laughs> recipe for boiled baby. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> or it's like meth pussy is the best pussy. Okay, okay. got it. Yeah, because Great. it lasts it? for a while. Great. What, it's how dry. does pussy last for a while? I don't know how that works. <laughs> What do you mean for a while? What? what is for a while? I don't know what happens to pussy. Clearly, you don't every... understand pussy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, it's just a cavernous thing. No, you know? it's, it doesn't no, last. I'm, it doesn't have to. I'm going to defend erect. my thing, and you mean our... I'm going to defend it. What it is is this: is that if you okay? I was I have my, the job that I'm on, right? Oh, okay. The show that I'm on, right? Okay. Where you work my, with children, so yeah, I'm gonna, yeah. But the make my makeup artist is yeah. this gigantic bear of a man. Okay, mm. and he's a he's a. He's in. What? And he's here. That was a, and he's, yeah, he's here. in my butthole. Uh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. Oh god. It's a rough one. It's a rough one. Yeah, it's Mom, rough. we got Taryn here. All right. He's an old friend. He's okay. you know, but um anyway, he he told me that he was sober mm -hmm. and that he used to do meth. And then we talked about because I was wow. you know, I had done meth, mm -hmm. right? And as a guy, when you're doing that, you jerk off for like 24 hours watching porn. You can't even come. <laughs> but you, it's not the fact of jerking off or coming. It's a fact that you just want to keep doing to it. To feel. Just yeah, feel that's what I mean sensation. about meth pussy is that she might not like it, but she's going to want to keep doing it. You know what I mean? Whereas a regular girl that's not on meth. <laughs> a boring. Wants to take a nap. Straight edge. Boring. <laughs> not doing drugs. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good That's mother. all my point was. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Got the Sobies. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They're like, hey, yeah. I'm just not feeling it. Let's focus on you. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not. Yeah, that was an unhelpful one. You gotta find yeah, a methy. Unhelpful. You fucking assholes. That was unhelpful. Yeah. Yeah. Methy, methy pussy is the greatest, guys. Yeah. I'm sorry. Right. I and doubted you. Also, I just want to say this, too. Yeah. This is that um, you're probably not into the UFC. But we need to talk about it real quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do it. Uh, I'm sure Callan. Do you hang with Callan? Yeah, I talk but, yeah, UFC I love a lot. Yeah, 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 I, yeah. My most of my UFC viewing experiences are through Brian. Callen. Brian Callan. Yeah, yeah. Brian's yeah. one of my brother, blood yeah. brothers. Yeah. You doubt you have done Fighter on the Kid yet? Uh huh. But yeah, me too. Yeah. It's one of my favorites. Yeah, recently. There's studios you did? a lot nicer. Yeah, yeah. there's yeah. nice. Baby. It's different. It's nice. We could there's go to a different. nicer place. We want to stay at home. <laughs> <laughs> Lower overhead. Lower overhead. Okay. Right. 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 But last Saturday's fights, I, I honestly there were we, three really good ones. Yes, right. yes, the greatest card they've ever made, I believe, mm -hmm. and the biggest upset in the history of UFC, in my opinion. Mm. Yo, Johanna Yunchechek getting knocked up by Rose Namajunas in the, in first, the first round. round. Was uh, what did I do, babe? We uh, were there. You what, was, you, well, we both collapsed called, on the ground and stay there crying. You for ran around minutes. for a while. A good while. Who she did? Yeah. You. I did. You yeah. fell I ran down, in a circle. I fell on the ground. Did jumping jacks. I did jumping jacks at one and point. You and your yeah, brother yeah. started no. like hugging each other and flailing. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. We did that, but old move. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> the old move. <laughs> this is a Korean way. Oh, why okay. is it an upset? Our favorite fighter is a woman. Okay, so there's this. Oh, I'll tell you why, my friend. Yeah, I'm glad you asked me. Yeah. She was 14 and 0 undefeated. Yeah, that's tough to say. And and that. she was destroyed. I mean, I mean, it's like. Mm -hmm. When she won the belt, right? Mm -hmm. It was like an adult fighting a five-year-old kid. I mean, that's the difference of of her, skill level. Her fourteenth fight of no, getting no. the belt. Or when this, she got this no, game, no, this, no, no, this, no, 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 no. When so Johanna is fourteen and zero. Okay, but when she got fought for the belt, the yeah. championship belt. Yeah, she was like seven and zero at the oh, time. Okay, okay. And when she Just fought the champion, machine. she destroyed her the 
the point right. where it's mm-hmm. like, oh my god, she's levels above everyone. Right. Mm-hmm. And this girl that she fought last Saturday, Rose, was seven and four was her record. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. She had lost a bunch. Yeah. She was young. Yeah. Young. And she there was a, a what was it ninety nine to one chance percent chance that she was oh, gonna wow. win. Yeah. Oh wow! Yeah. She was, was a crazy upset. A yeah. plus four hundred. And the and the way they said the only way she could win is to choke her out. If she mm. got re- super creative and choked yeah. her out, yeah, is the but only that's way not to be how it went down. Mm-mm. Not it only an, did that, it was a it clean happened, it, knockout. One minute, within one minute, yeah, knocked her out. Yeah, the champion out. Right. A girl that everyone thought was one of the pound for pound best fighters on planet Earth. Yeah, with men including. It, it, yeah, it, it, yeah, not just right. men. In sure. general, yeah. she's one of the greatest. Wow. And this girl from Denver just walked in there and she fucking took care of business, mm-hmm. and it was shocking. Mm-hmm. You know, it's like, you know, it's insane. It's Ronda insane. Rousey hosted after she lost that yeah. fight. Oh, oh, wow. And it was interesting to hear her talk about it because she said what happened was very early on, one of the hits mm-hmm. knocked out her vision. So right. she had no depth perception. Damn. So it's like sometimes it's just something like that. Like yeah. she got she got a, a fist to just the brow and it and it she was just seeing white in this eye. And then had no depth perception, so she couldn't gauge the My reach. God. Is what you know how she told it, and and that was why you know it was it was over so fast for her too. Wow. So it feels like when you're kicking and punching and hitting in the face, yeah. it's really anybody's game. That's, <laughs> but you know what? That's exactly that's that's true. Very exactly true. true. Such a chance. Yeah. Yeah, because and that proved it Saturday because mm-hmm. I was obsessed with Johanna. In fact, I, I still am. I still am, but I was just like she defended her title seven times. It just yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. and she not would just any less run of a through everyone. That's but dope. this girl did it, and it was just so shocking. And then like GSP coming back after four years, <laughs> pretty good. Another yeah. Canadian we love. Okay, yeah. Okay, and then um, you know TJ Dillashaw doing what he did took mm-hmm. care of business. Yeah, it was just a great night of bonding. Cool. And it was nice. <laughs> it feels very close to the McGregor fight, right? right. Is it, yes. it? Does it feel like a big event? God, close to big events. You know events? what you have. What's up? There's little bits. A little bit. No, of no, no. This guy right okay. here, right here, <laughs> is one of those kinds of white dudes, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. GW. Thank Thank you. CGW. CGW. No, yeah, yeah. That is just can survive <laughs> in any situation. <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker could be like in the polar ice caps. Yeah. You know what I mean, yeah. and like t- can. With a scientist and can talk about shell like shelving. You, you want to focus. You want to focus on warming your chest, right? Because your arms will take care. You of You can hang out with MS13, and they're like, "Oh, bro, sure. this guy's a fucking gangster." Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, man, he, the Dodgers be... should have had it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, 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 the Dodgers should have had survive it. it. <laughs> they should have had it. They should have had it. It was you, Darvish. Yeah. Come on, come yeah. on. I'm still wearing you it. You know what? You know what kind of white he is? A GW. I've said it before. <laughs> What's GW? A good, good white. white. No, a Schindler white. Oh, that's what Yeah. Oh, dear Schindler. Okay. Savior. That's a sure. good dude. Okay. Okay. Yeah, oh, man. Boy. Thanks, man. Back oh, in the day when that happened. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, man. Starting you would put a couple of them in your trunk and drive watches. across the border, man. You're a good dude, man. <laughs> thanks, buddy. Give Taryn Killam yeah. a round of applause, everybody. Thank oh, you so thank much you. for doing it. You, buddy. Yeah, check out. Yo, you have anything to plug? His right. movie. Uh, uh, yeah, I directed a movie uh, and wrote and acted in it with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Called I Killing saw the Gunther. trailer. It's on iTunes, right? Yep. So, you can get it on yeah. iTunes and Amazon. It looks Amazon so funny. It's, it really it's, does. It's really fun. It's really dumb, and I'm proud. What of was it. he? To, let's just real quick. Sure. Uh, amazing. Amazing. Such a pro. Yeah, but how, a, you're direct, you directed it? Yeah. A crazy grab. Yeah. How did so you, quick. Well, let me ask you this. Yeah. How did did you <laughs> how did you get him? Um I had offered it to a different actor, and that actor's agent is Arnold's agent too. And the other actor's agent. I'm not gonna I wanna I don't wanna know who it is. Bruce but, Willis. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I was gonna guess, but Oh, sorry. And he said we gave you Arnold. Bruce thought about it for two weeks and they said, Would you consider Arnold? And I was like, <laughs> yeah, of course. I, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. O- yes, and uh, no, only in that, like, I couldn't have before you said that. To yeah, me. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and he said they they just said he's doing smaller, interesting stuff and looking to do a comedy, and and so he read the script and we talked about it. And damn, wait, wait, did you meet work. with him? Uh, we Facetime together. Oh my, oh my god! Oh my god! It was awesome. It was awesome. First time, always Facetime. And the first time he was like at uh, Sun Valley, he has like a big Sun Valley home in mm. Idaho. And 
his one of his assistants picks up first you know what i mean in case they call the wrong number or whatever and he's like hey taron i'm gonna hand you over to arnold and i was like great <laughs> yeah, yeah. and then arnold grabs he's smoking a cigar yeah yeah, yeah. he's sitting in this huge desk like just leaning back yeah and he's in front of a six foot tall oil painting of himself from the wow. <laughs> wow. And he's like taron how are you <laughs> yeah. that's the before this is the after <laughs> Oh, wow. The fucking best. The Amazing. Best. Every interaction has just been like. Wow. And then like, so because pleasant, what so I great. would be scared of is he's yeah. such a big star. Yes. To, did you give him notes? Yeah. Yeah. And he and he was like, just tell me what you want. Yeah, let's let's get it. Let's do. Wow, do one. that's fucking amazing. He was great. He was such a congratulations. That's Thanks, amazing. Yeah. Thanks. What's dude. that movie called? Killing Gunther. Killing Gunther. Gunther. Check it out, guys. And then um, you just did a movie with uh, Kevin Hart yep. and those guys. Tiffany Haddish, Kevin Hart, Al Madrigal. Al Madrigal. Us, and Rob Riggle. Yeah, Marilyn, Marilyn Rice, Rice Cup. Cup. That's an amazing cast. It's a, it's a really, What's that called? It's called Night School. It'll Night be School. Out next September. Amazing. Yeah. And you're doing some fun. other shit too. We'll talk about it later. All right, cool. Thank you so much, Taryn. <laughs> I really you, buddy. appreciate it. I love you and I'm happy to see you. Will we be back, Clara? Yes, we will. We'll be right back, guys. Hello, guys. And we <coughs> are back. Taryn Killam is awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so nice. I'm surprised we didn't ask him about his movie to the very end. I know. <laughs> I was like, uh, I, yeah, I want to hear more about the movie. I was now. like, Dude. Killing Gunther? What are you talking <laughs> about? Yeah. The dog pooed and yeah. peed? Good, good. Do you want to uh, sit down one and one talk up. with us? Yeah. Um, I, I wanted to expand on the, the fights a little bit more right, since we right. couldn't. It's hard. Um, I, I what have, do you mean? I have guilt when we talk about UFC when there's somebody who's like, you know, not it's into fine. it. People do it all the time. Hi. Um, yeah, the coding t- uh, TJ. Oh, Bobby was happy about that. I was very happy you about that. Correctly. I'll tell you why I guessed yeah. correctly too, because oh, if God. you look at, if you look at the way um, TJ dismantled Hen and Burrell twice, twice. Mm-hmm. okay? You have to remember Hen and Burrell was Pound, pound one of the most dangerous men on planet Earth. Mm-hmm. People at that time, especially before the first fight, no one thought that they they could beat, that he would lose. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and and he just he picked him apart. Him and Dwayne Ludwig when Ludwig was first trading him, and and also it's like, you know, when he lost the belt to Dominic Cruz, it was a lot of people thought that he won that fight. Yeah, yeah it was very close. They say it was mm-hmm. close, fifty fifty. That was his only loss in a while, right? And then Dominic went all five rounds with Cody, right? Mm-hmm. Garbrandt and went to decision. Mm-hmm. And in my head, I'm like, did How? it go to decision? Yes, it did. Yeah, five rounds. So in my head, I'm like, you know what? I, I find I, I mean, I love Dominic Cruz, San Diego guy, whatever. But I think TJ is better at angles, better at movement. He's got a, he's a, he looks, you know, like when Dominic does it, it looks loopy, and you know, his body kind of goes in a. You know what I mean? Like a, but like I think TJ is a little bit more crisp, crisp, yeah. right? I just never, th- I didn't think that he could lose. And also, I I don't give but a fuck he that was... he was an alpha male guy, and then he wanted to move on. Let him move on. He see, he's a fucking American citizen. Can do whatever he wants to. <laughs> he's a. I think it could have gone either way. And I, if they were to rematch, I still think it can go either way. I think those guys are so equally matched. And you know, he, TJ was hurt in the first round. Yeah, really hurt. I, I, I'm sorry, Cody Garbrandt is good. He's amazing. He's amazing, yeah. right? But in terms of skill, I think they're TJ's, equally matched. I think TJ has more tools. More tools because he kick. I feel like his combination kicks. Maybe I've more never experience. seen Cody punch or kick once. No, I think they're still pretty evenly matched up, and Co- I don't think Cody is wrong in saying that he feels like he's he's the better, better fighter. fighter. I. I I do think that he moves extremely well and it could go out. It's one of those fights that it can go either way. You're not wrong in picking or in predicting either fighter to win. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then the uh, championship fight, uh, I guess GSP has to fight Robert Whitaker now. I, I hope he doesn't. Die. I don't think he should. God. I th- I, have you seen Robert Whitaker? Not lately. We don't even know who he is. He's new. He's like... Bro, the, he good. Just, yeah, he's interesting. Let me just stop. You nope, t- I was keeping the conversation going, Bobby. You said why though? Who is Robert Whitaker? Where is he from? Well, who cares? Why are you trying to test <laughs> well, just, him? He's I, also I, I, not very well known yet, but he's a he's an interim champion. He's I'm very sorry. good. He's you from know what? Australia. You're right. You're right. I was keeping the conversation, Bond. So like, all right. I'm sorry. I was expounding. I'm so from, sorry. All right. Yeah. Say what you said again. Uh, tell us more about Robert Whitaker. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. He used to be he he used to be a 170. 
Yeah, far bit, Stephen yeah. Wonderboy Thompson. Would didn't do didn't fare as well there. He went up in 185. He's he's amazing and he's our he's one of my favorite fighters. And I think he's just so I look, GSP at his peak 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 younger, I think that would be a pretty fun matchup. Very fun. Hmm. But you know, he's he looked amazing. He looked great. And he actually exceeded my expectations of him. A lot more aggressive in the past. But I think what Robert Whitaker is one of those guys where he's in the he's in the octagon and you can see him thinking. He be his IQ is so high. What's his Soza? What's his name? Soza? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jacare. Jacare Soja. 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 Soza, whatever his name is. Yeah. Who in itself who in itself is a, a feat. But then he beat what's his name? Yo Romero. Yo, Yo Romero, mm -hmm. right? Which is like a demigod. A demigod. So it's like, because you, Yo Romero was, oh my god, this guy's the next champion. Mm -hmm. Whitaker went through him. I mean, Whitaker mm -hmm. was broke his foot, and he, he just Power is amazing. Yeah. This kid, he is. he's the future. He's the future, sure. right? Yeah. That's the feeling I have when John. When I first saw John Jones, I feel the same way about Whitaker. Mm. Yeah. Um. But can we talk about the Johanna fight still? Yeah, yeah, we can. That was, honestly, and th th I'm glad that happened. I'll tell you why. Because, number one, it's going to make Johanna so much better. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you ever watched the Bones Brigade documentary about Tony Hawk, Tony Hawk and how... He was getting really depressed. He wanted to quit skateboarding at a time at, at one point when he was young. And then Rodney. And then Rodney Mullen, Tony and Rodney were talking. And he's like, "You seem happier, Rodney." And Rodney goes, "Yeah, I just don't compete. You know, I don't do those competitions anymore. I don't. I just skate. You know, like Tony Hawk. As soon as he stopped wanting to take first place at tournaments, he would still do them. Yeah, but it's, it's okay to take fifth. Then the fun and joy came back into skateboarding for him. Mm -hmm. I think the same is going to be with Johanna. It's like, okay, I'm not undefeated. I can lose. I'm going to have fun. Mm -hmm. That pressure of being champion, that mm -hmm. pressure of being perfect and undefeated. is a lot. It's a lot mm -hmm. to handle for somebody. And I think that we're going to see a Johanna Jancic that's going to be much more gruesome. Yeah. And beast life. Scary. I was just very much annoyed with people who had never, who don't know Joanna. This is the first time that they're seeing her. They don't know what she's done for the sport. And they see, because of things like hood clips or, you know, on Instagram, they see snippets of this girl who is staring down and, you know, acting, you know, selling, selling the selling fight, the basically. Fight. Yeah. That's not her character. And yeah, and then they they're like, oh, she deserved to lose. You know, she's she, she like she she didn't have humility, so she deserved to get knocked out. It's like these are the people that have never watched a fucking um, straw weight fight in their lives. They see it on Instagram. Now they have an opinion, and she deserved to get knocked out. I hate that. Anyone that does that, I have a message to you. Boom. Put your face in a fucking cow's fucking dick hole. Ooh, will oh. it fit? I Whatever. I, I just made way. it up. I'm sure, else. <laughs> I'm sure I could have come up with something even better than that. That if was I had time interesting. <laughs> but I, that's what happened. Okay. This, this chick me... has been instrumental for the sport and this yeah. weight division. There is no better example of a great champion than you want to get. If you think that, chop your fucking dick off and right. send it to Mars. And I think Ooh, that's, that's pretty good. good. That's, that's pretty good. Better. That's good. That's better. And good. Rose, we've always loved Rose. I've loved her since the Ultimate Fighter. And I am excited for her. I didn't think that she was going to end it in that fashion. But the fact that she did means that she's serious, she's at the top of the game, and now it's exciting. And but it, it, but it's not that. It's also what you think about it. It's why I watch, why I love the sport. Because you don't know. Yeah, it's unpredictable. You watch boxing, and you know, fucking, you know, Mayweather can do he, what he does for 15, 12 rounds, mm -hmm. evade the rings large. Yeah. He knows that he can, you know. But with fucking mixed martial arts, there's so many different ways that you can go down, mm -hmm. right? That no one w will ever stay undefeated forever. Mm -hmm. It's just too many elements against you. Exactly. You know, um, that's why I love watching it. So that that fight was literally a life altering experience for me. All those fights were. Yeah. 
No, especially the Johanna one. That one really got to me. I was like, yeah, that one made me hell? realize this. You can do anything. That anything's possible. Your heroes are not safe. Right. I love Johanna, and I can't wait to see her come back. Thank you. Her reaction has been so good, too, afterwards. Like, because it's very... Because she's... You know what? Here's... She was gracious. She was emotional about her thing. But she was like, look, this is the risk that I take being a fighter. And there's no shame in that. Mm-hmm. When oh. Rhonda lost to Holly, you couldn't see her. She didn't do any interviews. Nothing. She got snuck onto a plane. She snuck out of well, Australia. She was severely injured, too. She broke her jaw. Okay, but still. Straight to the hospital. That's why GSP wasn't at the um, the post-fight conference. Okay, but after taken... Amanda Nunez. You couldn't see her mm-hmm. after that. Right. No press She was conference. gone. Okay. But as you see, what, um, do you hear what Ioana said? Yeah. Because the, the, the guy was like, why are you here? Usually when you lose, you're not obligated to come to these post-fight. And she's like, Stop no. that bullshit. She's like, you know what? You're going to get the best and the worst of me on my up times you're gonna have me on my down times you're gonna have See, me because I'm a professional made, that's what made me and I was like wow after even more. I love her mm, I love her yeah and, and Rose but Rose deserved that win I know but can I say this yeah I swear to God that rematch if mm-hmm. there is one mm-hmm. I feel I'm gonna feel bad for Rose oh you think Rose is in that one I think that Johanna's gonna come back hey I think oh, Rose is going um Every fight that I've seen her since her, each one is exponentially better. I think that she's going to be a freak of nature. She's so agile, that girl. She's very bright. Yeah, and, she, she's evolved. And she's finally gotten, she's able to um, harness all that. Emotion. Yeah, because right? when she was on The Ultimate Fighter, that was her main thing when she fought like Carla, at Carla Esparza. The championship. She, she was a little weak or just not mature minded where little elements, outside elements like got to her. She's very sensitive. But now she's like, no, she's a total boss now. Yeah, she came in, her eyes looked so dead. Yeah. But you know, she like she said she prepared for everything. She knew everything Joanna was going to do to try mm-hmm. to get into her head, and she came prepared for it. Stone face. Yeah. Now, now the challenge is this because you know when you're when you're a champion, you the, your media obligations go up, everything else goes up, and if she's a sensitive bird, you know that it, can affect it, her. That can, and I think it affects everybody differently. Well, Joanna's back in Poland. Yeah, and she deserves she's with, a long with her vacation. Family. She's eating her little Polish and you wanna, pies. You will never, pierogies. You'll never, never listen to this. But we love you so much, and we're your fans. Oh, I, I, you're end. one of my favorites of all time. Yeah, yeah you're up there with me. And um, but that was a life altering. I'm glad I saw it because it changed my life. Yeah, it really did. Mm-hmm. It made me go, "Oh my god, I might win an Emmy." <laughs> <laughs> you can win an Emmy. I can, I can win can an Oscar. Happen. Anything can happen. You, you know what I mean, you have to think about it. Everybody's got a puncher's chance. That's what that's what that fight puncher's did. chance. Mm-hmm. Because when she when I saw it, I felt I didn't know how it ended up on the ground. You were but I was on a cement ground, what? looking up at the stars, <laughs> just questioning everything, questioning my life, questioning life in general, my ideas about life. It was really amazing. It was inspiring. Inspiring. That was fucking amazing. It was the best night of fighting I've ever seen. Yeah. Really good card. Every every card, everyone and, that was there too, and everybody who says they don't like, you know, <coughs> Joanna being, you know, how she is during those stare downs, you're you're really stupid. You don't because know her. You this is that's the reason why you watched it. That's yeah, the reason why it, it compelled you. I think she will, and I think, I think she should stay herself. She'll keep that's it. not no, her. It's also I, a mental game. You can't like get it like that's part yeah, of the that's, whole match. Exactly. Just starting well, no, mental when game she, there. When she fought Carla Esparza, she didn't really do that. Yeah, she did. She did the she whole the thing where she goes monster. like under, she goes under no, the she, face. She, she, no, she was she was a little bit yeah, okay before that. I mean, against the first Claudia, against all the she. That's not her. She. That's this thing that she does. Yeah. Right. I think that she's gonna find a pocket, a different personality mm-hmm. that's gonna be still aggressive, still but aggressive. a little bit more mm-hmm. stoic. You know, I think that's done. Yeah, I think what, he's, she's gonna be different. Whether it's to sell the fight or the mental game, judge people by how they act after the fight. Yeah, but she's like, she's she's the most gracious loser exactly. ever. Exactly. Yeah. yeah, that was amazing. She's the best. I love her, and I love Rose. Good job, girls. You were the best fight of the night. Yeah, for sure. Oh my god, that was amazing. Anyway, any good. shows for Bobby, Clyla? Yes, this weekend Bobby will be at American Comedy Company in San Diego. What? Um, what buy your tickets for? now. Um, what is he yelling? Oh, he's yelling at the dog. Yeah. Oh, okay. And then, uh, no, he's <laughs> cat. No, he's doing. He's practicing his lines. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> November thirtieth to December second, uh, Yuck Yucks in Vancouver. 
Canada, BC. <laughs> BC, <laughs> right? <Okay. laughs> I always get confused my with my ABs and BCs, and but it's, it's BC. BC. Come on, Kalila. Those are the shows, right? Um, yes, and then the week, two weeks after that, uh, Levity Live in Oxnard, California. You can go to BobbyLeeLive.com for um, more dates. Cool. Uh, George, shout outs. <laughs> oh, I got a shout out. Uh, Gilbert liked this one to Caladendi369 on Reddit. Uh, oh, fuck face. He, he found Gilbert's uh, great silent acting skills, so uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can go to the Reddit to see. <laughs> Or you cannot. See, yeah, Can uh, I post it? Can we post it? Oh, yeah. It's God, right I, My mom <laughs> even called me, like, I would say, like, three years ago. She's like, before you move to L.A., make sure you call that your friend who posted those videos. I was like, nah, no one's ever going to see that stuff. I was like, but I would email him, but he won't take them off the Internet. Okay, YouTube in, has them forever. In case you don't know, it's uh, Gilbert playing a mime. <sighs> For three and a half minutes, so uh, <laughs> it's an acting gem, guys. You have to. You want to learn how uh, to act at that? Under under Reddit, look for future Oscar winner. That's the title. It's also mm. uh, Fat Bert. So. Oh that. God, I gotta. We gotta post it it's on our good Instagram. Old thing. Yeah. A uh, quick shout out to Chris and Dave from Congratulations. Just met them. Super nice guys. Shout out again to a Reddit user Fungus Foot for. Uh, he wanted to correct uh, Bobby's. Uh, take that Jerry Lee Lewis did not get in trouble. Actually, Jerry Lee Lewis did get in trouble for marrying his cousin. He did? Yeah. Dude, Jerry Lee Lewis was married. His third marriage at 22 was his 13-year-old cousin. Oh. If you just look, this guy has an interesting life just by marriages. Third yeah. marriage. Uh, that was the second longest marriage, I think, from uh, <laughs> of all of them. God, at 22. Uh, and... Yeah, it uh, it kind of tanked his career for a while, but he still like he still had a career. Yeah. But it it went down from like what he could book. Right, know. right. He had to return from tour and everything else. Uh, there are a lot of good discussions about uh, Tiger Belly Prom. Mm. I think uh, we're getting good feedback that we. How would we do that? What would we do? What would it involve? I, it would involve the prom? same thing as um, we do the live shows, which is like a lottery system. I mean, probably not so much a lottery. We would probably have to like pick and choose, you know, have people submit something. Um, but we have to, how do you get the awkward, like asking somebody to the prom? That has to be part of it. Mm, and do you have to ask another Tiger Belly listener? Do you have to ask mm -hmm. someone outside? Because imagine someone who doesn't know anything about the podcast show up to yeah. an adult prom. It's just weird. I mean, but prom king and queen mm -hmm. are Bobby and I, so no one can win that. Okay. Whoa. You cannot vote. <laughs> can we just do a runner-up? You could be the prom prince, mm. and then you can be... I just want to be like Steve Harrington. Oh, wait, hold on. We should we should have a prom court, though. We should really should vote. should be a prom court. But then if no one knows each other, how is everyone going to vote? Based on... We'll do like uh, interviews for the top four. <laughs> Dance-off. Yeah, but your peers are supposed to vote you into, into king. You know. That's Anyways, how yeah. would we do it? We would get a, a, like a, a hall, right? Mm -hmm. We would rent out a hall. The Ritz Carlton. Yeah, and we would have a red carpet with like a little area we can take pictures and stuff, and it would just be our own, you know, little party. It okay. would be for sure weird. Screw it. Let's just sell real tickets. Let's essentially make this uh, a Tiger Belly prom theme, but let's get like a legit famous DJ, like Steve Oyoki. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, oh I was trying to do how Bobby does it. Was it? Oh, Steve yeah. Oki -o or uh, Oki 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 Oki? Yeah. Um, yeah, we we can throw around some ideas, but let us know what you guys think. George desperately needs his prom. You guys remember, remember in high school he he only had a banquet. Oh, dude, SBA. Hoppa, yeah, Hoppa uh, messaged me on, the, on Instagram that she had only like she'd had the same experience as me. Banquets. Oh, yeah. At La, La, La Sierra, the same banquets. That was. Um, okay. Anything else, George? I see your notes from here. It's very large. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot. Nah, no reverse shout outs today. We'll just skip that request. Wait, who, who, what was the Why? reverse shout out? Bitch, because Kalala shut you down earlier. Uh, which reverse <laughs> shout outs? I had a couple. Dorothy for going around the uh, the your party, telling everyone that she saw me at the mall. Oh yeah, you were at the oh, in Glendale. It's yeah. like the first time I've been to a mall in a year. But why is that a bad thing if Dorothy saw you? Well, why did she... She seemed like it was a bad thing, and la everybody was laughing that I was at the mall. No, I hate because malls. Because I just I imagine know. you in all white at a mall. It's creepy. <laughs> yeah, it's a little weird. Antibiotics one or no? 
Uh, no, baby, you brought them home from the Rite Aid. I want to do a shout out to Dorothy because she got me some so and panties from the Philippines. Oh, those are from her. Oh wow. Ones, yeah, and oh. if you don't know what so and panties are, Tell they're us. basically um, you know, and in, in the Philippines or anywhere here, I think they have the Avon lady or like the Tupperware lady who like sells. Um, you know products in your mm -hmm. home they had a sew and lady which she basically comes house with boxes of underwear and you choose which panty you're going to buy but the designs are very old school it's like full-on granny mm -hmm. underwear that's the most comfortable thing ever and she got me a whole box and then reverse shout out to jessica for stealing out of that box what she yeah. saw them she was like oh hell no and she just took them she's like i'm taking a few because they're so amazing so Dorothy, you're the best. Uh, reverse shout out uh, to my to my appetite. Uh, <laughs> I decided uh, I was eating so healthy, and then I, I I took a small bowl and I just filled the whole thing with potato salad. And I went to a room by myself and ate it. Wait, at our party? At your party. But that's <laughs> sweet potato salad. It's it doesn't just, count. I, sh I shouldn't have ate a bowl of it. But the sweet potato salad that my sister makes is very healthy. Do then that, I ate a bunch right. of chips, whatever. We got one, yeah. yeah what else? Well, that, <laughs> pecan bar. I took, oh, I, know. I took the whole layer of pecan uh. bars. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, reminder, uh, ZipRecruiter.com slash belly for all your hiring needs. Uh, yeah. Oh, and one live final thing. I, I'm not, uh, no more stickers. Some people who are like just starting at the beginning of the episodes mm. are uh, still oh, messaging yeah. me for stickers. We're going to, stickers, we're going to be selling them with the next uh, batch of merch coming out soon. Also a new um, batch of merch very, very soon. So keep that in mind when you think of holiday shopping for your loved ones. And by very, very soon, disclaimer, that can be uh, from two days from now or three months. So let's just Definitely keep that before list. Christmas. Yeah. Yeah. Very, very soon. Before very soon. Black Friday. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, well, hey, relax, it bro. Takes time to, takes time. What the hell? Hey. You guys, it better be ready before Black Friday. Well, <laughs> I, my word is my life. I don't promise anything until I know the date. I until get the I, dates until back until from the, the factory. From the factory. Oh, that's right. God, Kalila. What the turn? Okay, never mind. <laughs> it's, it's, Alice, we're, getting that? we're getting more special things. There's a longer turnaround for I some sorry. of these things. I sorry. Yeah, Kalila wanted to just excite you guys. You, you, you know, just like, woo. Okay, we're all, well, whatever. Okay. <laughs> all right, guys, that was a weird ending. Bye. <laughs>